Hello beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel Miss Reemy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your Mars in Retrograde mini readings. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Gemini. We're going to take a look at what do you need to know while Mars is in Retrograde for two months until November. I feel very guided to do these readings for you. These will be mini short to give you what you need, um, quick messages on healing, guidance, your spiritual growth, romance, any messages that need to come through, okay? So let's start with the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck and then we'll talk to the goddesses. Okay, for Gemini, please. Quest. Quest. It's interesting because I feel like you have a choice, as we always do. You have a choice. Look at this. What do you choose? Which path? Which way? What feels right? interesting because I feel like you have a choice here. You're making a choice. You're making decisions in your life right now that are going to benefit you, um, that are going to help you grow on your journey, on your quest. <laughs> it's interesting because I feel like this is um, similar to video, like a video game. You're going on a quest. It's like you're picking up a quest and you're choosing which way to go to complete that quest. That's the energy I'm getting. Let's see what the goddesses have to say. You have here co-creation, exactly. You're co-creating here right now with the choices that you make. You also have here time. So we have here number 48, number 3, and we have here 42, inexperience. This is this energy here. Look at this young boy. And then you also have a young female being displayed in these illustrations, inexperience and quest. It's almost as if you are embarking this quest, you are embarking this journey knowing very little but you are a sponge, you are ready to learn on your quest, you are ready to co-create with the choices that you are making, co-creating your destiny, co-creating your beginnings, your path. Time here is really interesting. At the bottom of that, you have secrets. And then you have Isis here with rebirth. And then you have here Lilith, independence. It's interesting because I feel like we are witnessing your growth in time. There's something that will be revealed to you on your quest here with secrets. You will go through a rebirth, transformation, and you will be independent and strong and secure. So I feel like we are watching your quest unfold. That's interesting, Gemini. Let's get into the tarot. Let's use the good tarot for you. Let's see what other messages we get here for Gemini, please. What other messages for Gemini? One more shuffle. So um, we also have numbers 39, 24, and 29. Okay, your overall energy. Mm -hmm. 
is the Ace of Swords. And look at this transformation. So again, you have Ace of Swords, transformation, rebirth. And look at this beautiful synchronicity here with a little phoenix rising from the ashes and goddess Isis here signifying transformations and rebirth rising from the ashes, rising from the shadows, becoming dark and light, embodying both energies, yin and yang, sun and moon, masculine, feminine, all of the polarities within. Again, you have here a young, youthful energy. It doesn't have to be a young child. This is this energy of youth, of inexperience. So as you embark this quest, maybe this is a new quest, it feels as if you are inexperienced on this journey, but yet you are very wise. But as the quest begins, it feels as if you are inexperienced. As you learn more, you grow, you co-create, you learn, and over time, you learn. You learn secrets of the universe, you learn knowledge, you learn information, you receive downloads, you receive information only you know or you intake that you can digest. And then when it's time, relay that secret or that information or knowledge to the world. Your independence is what's going to come out, this energy out of this quest, your independence. Even, you know, if you are so independent today, this independence is going to strengthen and grow when you complete the quest, okay? And this is this beautiful energy of leaping through this veil. This is almost like the shadow. This is the light. You're leaping through the shadows, embarking on your transformation. The beginning of this new transformation is the quest. The beginning of this new transformation is where you feel inexperienced. But as your transformation continues with time, you will be fiery and reborn and independent. Look at this beautiful fire energy. You could have strong fire in your chart as well. Okay, so please take what resonates. Okay, let's get some more cards. Let's see what's going on. You have here strength. Yes. You have here five of earth, five of pentacles. You could be overcoming financial challenges, financial constrictions, restrictions. Here's that inexperience on the quest, this page of fire, this youthful energy. But you are so curious on this quest. Look at where you are in this magical place. It's almost as if for some of you, you're tapping into your inner child. You know, the inner child is inexperienced, but yet so curious and vibrant. You have the fortune's wheel. You have here the six of cups, six of water. You have here the seven of fire, the queen of earth, and you have here king of wands. Wow, two of cups underneath that. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Do you see how that was underneath it all? Underneath it all. That song popped into my head just now. 
I forget who's that. Is that by Fergie? I can't think of it right now, but that's what pops into my head. Um, strong bond that you have here with someone. Again, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. Okay. I want to continue on your journey because it's such a beautiful expansion of you. It's almost like an extension of you. This is an extension of you, this quest. I feel like you are discovering here. Although you are in this moment of nostalgia, Gemini, here with Six of Cups, What was I saying? Sorry, I forget when I channel. <gasps> Let me try to remember my train of thought. Extension of you. You know what I saw? I saw as if you were like duplicating yourself. Um, and then there is a reflection in the water. Your inner child is a reflection of you. When you look in the mirror, your inner child is there. It's a reflection of you. I feel like you're reflecting on your childhood, perhaps, for some of you. Maybe you are reflecting and bringing forward the extension of you, which is your inner child. Because that is the extension of you. To embark on this quest, feeling inexperienced, but yet holding so much curiosity and wonder to move you forward. I feel like with this Mars energy in retrograde, it brings on this challenge almost. It's like there is this challenge energy with Mars in retrograde and you are up for the challenge. You are up to embark on this quest. And you will win. You will persevere. You will finish the quest. You, are, you will complete it. You will become independent. You will become reborn. Your transformation. Your strength. You have persevered. This energy is almost very mystical as well. I'm also getting that song Mulan. my reflection what will my reflection show or when will my reflection show who i am inside it's almost like that's what you're yearning that's what you feel here also with five of pentacles someone is holding their chest you feel something inside of you and yet it's as if you want the reflection to match how you feel inside I feel like that's what this transformation is about for you to look in the mirror and see exactly how you feel on the inside recognize that what you see in the mirror is a direct reflection of who you are and that extension of your inner child that is always there within you that curiosity, that spark of life, that magic, that mysticism, that wonder, so much curiosity. The world is a playground and I feel like it's as if you are witnessing it and experiencing it for the first time. You have here the seven of fire and I feel like spirit is all around you here with the fireflies. You could be seeing fireflies or you may see fireflies. But these are, I'm seeing a light fixture. <laughs> these are lighting your way and they're surrounding you saying to take a leap and jump. Don't be afraid. 
again, this mystical creature, this unicorn that is only in your child's imagination, your, your inner child's imagination. But this is what's going to... I feel like this is what's going to help you understand yourself a little bit more or your journey or your purpose, your destiny. You have here the Queen of Earth. So definitely lots of grounding energy that's required right now. We need to make sure that we're grounded because when Mars is in retrograde, especially with all of this fire energy here, there's lots of impulsiveness that can take place and lots of emotional reactions. So it's very important to ground your energy. So I'm happy to see Queen of Earth here. I feel like you are also cultivating energy here. You are, you are a manifestation of energy and you are cultivating it and being one with the earth, okay? There's a white moth or a white butterfly. I feel like it's a moth, so you could be seeing white moths specifically that may be um, resonating to you in some way. I feel like on this beautiful journey of your transformation, of your inner child, of your inexperience to experience and independence and further growth and transformation, there is someone, again, underneath all of this, underneath it all. These two cards were there. This partnership, this love, this unification, this synergy. I'm, I don't know why I said synergy, but I feel a great synergy here with the Two of Cups. These two goldfishes, I think they're goldfish, <laughs> playing in the water, swimming around one another, this beautiful fluidity of energy. This Mars in retrograde message is really all about you and, you know, through this, this occurs naturally, okay? This partnership will occur naturally. I feel like that's not even the focus here. It's just there. It's underneath it all. It's, it's deep. It's, um, it's just there naturally. And all of this is what your focus is. Okay, Gemini, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm sending you so much love, light, protection, truth, and happy questing. <laughs> Thank you for watching.